is breaking news from 8 News Now. Brand new details this evening. A local psychologist whose wife died a year ago under suspicious circumstances may have his bank accounts frozen at the request of the dead woman's family. Thanks for joining us live at 5. I'm Dave Corvassier. And I'm Denise Valdez. The request was submitted to a judge earlier today asking the court to prevent Dr. Brent Dennis from liquidating his, his assets now that he's the focus of a homicide investigation. George Knapp of the I team is here with this exclusive story tonight. Again, Dr. Dennis has not been charged with a crime, but as we reported last week, Henderson homicide detectives as well as the DA and the grand jury are looking into the death of his wife, Susan Winters. She died in January of last year after ingesting a combination of pain pills and antifreeze. It was ruled a suicide after a cursory investigation, but Susan's parents didn't believe it, so they hired investigators and a local law firm to take a closer look. What they uncovered was a pattern of suspicious behavior and illicit drug use. The family attorney says the husband reaped a financial bonanza after Susan Winter's death. We have reason to believe that when Susan passed away, Brent Dennis personally didn't have a whole lot of money. After Susan passed away, he stood to gain some real estate. He stood to gain about $2 million in cash. Uh, and his financial picture adjusted quite nicely. Documents submitted to a district court this afternoon are seeking a freeze on bank accounts and other assets. The papers outline that Brent Dennis received a million dollars from Susan's life insurance policy, plus cash and assets, including her interest in three real estate properties. The family thinks there is a risk that he might liquidate the assets and possibly flee. Again, Dr. Dennis has not been charged with a crime. The state board, which licenses psychologists, is reviewing a complaint about his use of illicit drugs. His attorney told us this is all the result of Susan's parents being unable to accept that their daughter took her own life. And tonight at 11, we'll hear from Dr. Dennis himself, exclusive excerpts from his sworn deposition. The new documents will be posted at some point on our website. Interesting development tonight. Yeah. Look forward to the report at 11. Okay. Thanks, George. Thanks, George.